Et bonjour mes amis. Aujourd'hui, je vais faire une tata -ta -ta. Une tape de pommes. Oh my, oh my god. Ok, so now we're going to make our very own short crust pastry. This step is totally optional. If you just want to buy some pastry from the shop, that's totally fine. But if you want to get a little extra, then I'm going to show you how to make your own sweet pastry. To a blender, add 300 grams of plain flour, 100 grams of icy sugar, and 200 grams of cold butter. Ok, and now we're going to blitz it until it reaches the breadcrumb consistency. Add three egg yolks to the blender, and then pulse the mixture until it forms a dough. Okay, that looks like a good enough dough to me. Let's get this bread. <laughs> Making dough. <laughs> Cut the camera. <laughs> Remove the dough from the blender, place on a plate, cover with cling film, and leave to chill in the freezer for at least an hour whilst you prepare the rest of the dish. For the filling, peel six dessert apples. I recommend using Granny Smith's. The great thing about this recipe is if you get a little hungry whilst you're preparing the apples, you can use a little snack to eat whilst you do it. Mmm, delicious. It tastes a little bit like paper. Slice your peeled apples into quarters and decor them using a knife. Like built in. Just... I... <laughs> <laughs> Once you've got your nice apple quarters, slice them into even thinner wedges. Flour a clean surface and remove the dough from the freezer. Leave the dough to warm up for about 10 minutes and then roll out using a floured rolling pin until it's about the same thickness as a one pound coin. Cut out six dough circles using a small plate as a template. The dough circles should be slightly larger than the tartins that you are using because the dough will shrink when it cooks. Gently press the dough into the tartins. Prick the dough with a fork so that it doesn't bubble up when it cooks. If you can't cut any more circles out because you've still got little, little scrappy bits, piece them back together and just roll it out again and cut a few more circles out and then you should be good to go. Now we're going to bake our pastry blind. This helps prevent our pastry from going soggy when we add the filling later. Add a layer of tin foil on top of the pastry, then add a layer of ceramic baking beans on top of that. If you don't have ceramic baking beans, then you can use uncooked rice instead. We cut that bit out. That's called talent. Bake the pastry for 10 minutes, then remove the tin foil and the baking beans and bake for a further three minutes. In a large frying pan, melt a little bit of butter, then go in with the apple slices. Sprinkle over a little caster sugar and then cook the apple slices until they caramelize. Once golden, add the apple slices to the tart cases that we made earlier. If you want to be a little extra fancy schmancy, then you can dust the apple tarts with a little bit of icy sugar and serve them with vanilla ice cream. Okay, so that's our apple tarts. Done. Finito. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.